Okay, now we've made it to the cylinder home, which is the final process for the, the block before we do the babbit. So, I, while the block was in the boring machine, I left 5,000 small for the final finishing of this honing stones. And as the machine is set up right now with the block in it, I have the 220 grit stones installed to do the final bore because I'm only removing 5,000s. So, I've picked this particular hole because Seth had asked, it's like, why do you, you know, choose this one over any of the others? And naturally, you have to switch from hole to hole because you don't want to do two simultaneous holes because the heat created from the stones would throw off the, the final dimension. In other words, you'd have to wait until the block cooled back to the temperature again so you could check them side by side. John, how do you know when to stop? You do it based on time? No, basically it's like there's a setting. The machine is calibrated for the most part, but you have to naturally, every set of stones that we use is going to be different. And also the iron, you know, the, the quality of the iron, depending if it's going to be harder or softer, there's an equation that you can more or less use, or a rule of thumb, I should say. But there's really, you know, even though it's calibrated, it doesn't mean anything because, you know, each block is different. And more or less the best way to check it is to, you know, is to put the bore gauge in it and see how far you've, how far you've come. So we've taken a thousand off so far. And you're going five? Is that what you said? Yeah, in other words, it's like basically there's no rhyme or reason. Because the, the early blocks they have more may have more nickel in it. Some may have more silicon in it. You don't you know you don't know. Get one more shot? Nope. No? <laughs> more than that. 